I'll make that every 20 minutes if you're here. You have to buy something. What do they do about that in shops, Tyson, if guys just come in and hang out for like five hours? I guess nothing you can do. I'll be honest with you, that would bug me. I thought he was too. But I'm glad he stayed at my NFC champion San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, that might backfire on me, Tyson. I got a big screen TV in here. I'll be playing sports. I know what I'll put on the TV. I'll put on, like, Lawrence Welk or something and turn it up really loud. Well, most, t most of the time, we'll be at the fire pit. And my buddy built what he calls the hidey hole in his garage. I said hidey hole, not hiney hole. So if it's really, really bad weather, and the only bad weather that could keep us from being outside is like heavy rain. Heavy snow, not a problem. We'll be out there watching the games. But heavy rain, he's going to want to go to his hidey hole. I say come here, but then we got to find a way to drive back. That's not usually good on a Sunday afternoon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, this retail thing is all new to me. I know sales and marketing, but the actual physical element of having a store and the dynamic of people coming and going and how long they stay and what they do... That's an adventure for me to figure it out. But that is all going to be brand new to me. Wait till you see what I got for the Steve McMichael signing. I was up at one of my distributors today and they do a lot of retail. Like they sell to the grocery stores. So they have all that retail -y swag stuff. And I found these footballs. They're licensed footballs. Uh, still from China. But they are licensed, and they're awesome. They're in their own little, uh, you know, you've seen the, the football holder uh, packages. But they put a little Sharpie in it. A little mini Sharpie is in the front of it. And it's a Bears football which says Bears on it. And then it has either the Bear logo or the actual Bear. And I'm going to have those available for signing with Steve McMichael. Um, oh, look at that. I remembered the colors and everything. I guess I don't have to change it. I can actually name this Smash Mindy Tyson. You can rename it 30 Spot. So now that little window will be 30 spots. Tyson's going to get a crash course on all this next week. All right, Ginter.
Hey, Leb, are you still here? <laughs> I'm so screwed. The thing that's going to take me a while to get used to, Tyson, is um, this is my office also. So I'm usually working, doing work stuff, figuring out products, building breaks, um, paying invoices, you know, just doing work for TSB and stuff. And, um, you know, I'm going to have customers rolling in and out. So th that's going to be the adjustment for me is I get so used to being here by myself all day and doing whatever I want, when I want, how I want. When I have customers in the store, I can't do any of that stuff. Eric, you got the non-sport spot. Congrats. Eric hitting a one of one here the other night in Leaf Ultimate. I think he was a first rounder too. Hey, Leb. If you're still here, Leb. I got soccer in here, dude. You said you like soccer. I don't know if you want to spend $400 a box, but I got some here for you. And there's a soccer break on the website, Leb. Go look at it. It's like, how much is that spot? That... Michael, that is Eric. Eric H. Down at the bottom there, Diamondbacks. Diamonds in the back. Cool bat relic, George Brett. What is UCL? Nobody will be using my butt pillow. Got news for you. Bring your own butt pillows. Definitely nobody's using my butt pillow. David Price, Red Sox. Yeah, I know. Yes, bring B Y O B P. Bring your own butt pillows. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. Bring your own butt pillows. Red Sox. Hey, where is Nicholas M? I've been trying to find this dude. He bought. He could be a brand new dude. You guys know how much I love brand new dudes. Okay, that sounded really strange. But he is a new dude. I wanted to say hi to him. Congrats on your first hit. Now we're looking for cards that don't have a number on them or a funky multicolored back. Like I said, guys, I have not made a full decision yet on breaking from here or breaking at the National. There's pros and cons of both. It might be a little, I might have a little bit of anxiety not having any control over anything. I'm, I'm a little concerned about that element. You know, and not being able to do any of the breaks myself. So we'll see. It is pets. But James knows that dude.
Topps Artist. See, look, why doesn't Chris Quinn have a freaking card? They do have Topps Artists on here. I'm pretty sure this is the person that does Transcendent or something, but I want a Chris Quinn shirt. I have one of Chris Quinn's first original arts. He did my uh, the skunks back in the day. I got a Chris Quinn original hanging up in this mug. Oh, it happens often, pets. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Be like this guy. Hmm, don't worry about it. Voice actor and dungeon master. I do need to pull James. That will be so... What's the word I'm looking for? What if James's card number was 222? I would just quit then. I would just leave. doesn't have any autos in it what are you serious did you just find that out I thought that's what we were looking for He doesn't have any autos? Oh yeah, he doesn't have these. All he has is autos. I mean, it is possible that for some reason that they came up too short to get the autos in time-wise and all they could do is give him a base card. But that means his cards are going to be even more rare. Think about that. James cards are only autos. That's kind of dope. I just hope James likes me. That's all. I just want him to be liked by James. I want him to be like, you know what, that Chris guy, I like him. Cool dude. He helped me out got my best interest at heart cool to cool dude blue and red they didn't do a one of one by the way I suspect every time every Every time, every year, every time of the year, this, wait a minute. Every time. Every time this year, I notice there's a lot of guys, you're holding your money waiting for the national breaks. So I will have those up, hopefully within the next 24 to 48 hours. Tomorrow I'm expecting a little bit of traffic here because... I'm opening the shop from 12 to a 4. So when I get off the air tonight, I have to spend about two hours getting the place cleaned up and products on the shelves in case people want to buy stuff, which is the idea. So, Lev, you can come by tomorrow from 12 to 4, dude, and hang out. They might have did a one of one. I'm sure they did. James just probably doesn't really understand the... He probably signed just all the cards and didn't realize that one was slightly different colored or something.
There's Matt Olson's 222 card. Who has the A's? Oh, Neil won't mind. I'm keeping that, Neil, for my 222 collection. Couldn't tell you where the other 222 cards are, but I'm sure I have them. We're looking for cards that do not have a number. Oh, really? You should see if he can give up some of those uh, practice cards or promos they gave him. Catering tomorrow? All right, Leb. I made a new friend today in Leb, or yesterday. I don't remember when he was here, to be honest. Yesterday. <laughs> Dope ass Tony Gwynn. How's this kid doing this year, everybody? How's Otani watch? If you're here waiting, we're going to be doing a half a case of Optic. We're going to be doing some more Ginter. I have plenty of football. Don't worry, football dudes. Oh, we'll get back to football tomorrow night. I am going to... Oh, there's a cool card. I wouldn't mind having his auto. Um, I'm going to the state fair tomorrow. We always go on opening day. We try to beat the crowds. Artist proofs. Yeah, that's what they are. So I probably won't be starting until literally 9 o'clock tomorrow night because I'm going to the fair with the family. So we probably won't get back till 8, 8.30. Oh, yeah, just a day in the life. They're coming here around 4 o'clock, and then we're leaving for the fair. Rob, you should know me by now how I roll. No, the King County. Well, it's not the state fair, the King County Fair. County Fair. Right up there in St. Charles. Shop, then fair, then breaks all night. And something's going on on Friday, which I already forgot about. Radio guys will be up there, Rob. They're setting up the Elgin radio people. Come on, who's that's that's Mark DeRosa. I'm taking a picture of that and tweeting out. That's that looks exactly like Mark DeRosa. Those eyebrows and his eyes. It's... I don't know if you guys watch MLB Today or whatever their show is. That's fuck. That's freaking D-Rose. So Otani's doing all right? Yeah, Le Leia and John, I think his name is. They're going to be here for the uh, Steve Michael McMichael party, covering that, Rob. So that would be a good boost of promotion. Having the little Elgin radio station here. I love watching their morning shows on Facebook. <laughs> They're just so... Well, good morning, everybody. Here in Elgin today, we're looking at a high temperature of about 95, with temperatures dropping down in the low 80s by noontime. Time is 8.55 here on Elgin Radio. Be back right after this. Save big money at Menards. Baez is dope. A lost dog was missing for 48 hours was found in South Elgin today. He 
And here with us today we have Chris Keller, owner of Top Shelf Sports Cards in Collectibles in Elgin, just on Airlight Road and Larkin Avenue in Elgin. Chris, how are you? Welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, everybody? If there's a stealth bomber in this, whoever has that or wants it, it's not getting it because I am. Game used. Game used, Joshua Bell. Joshua Bell, let me tell you something about him. He's a Pittsburgh Pirate. And he is owned by... There's Nick again! Dude, Nick. Just getting hit. <laughs> I don't know where Nick is. He's new. I was hoping to say hi to him, but... I'm sure he'll surface. Maybe he'll email me. SR71, cool band. Baltimore, Maryland. They were friends of ours back in the day and they got a record deal and Mitch went on to start the band, SR71. Who can tell me their song? Why? Why you always kick me when I'm <laughs> There's a Benny for the uh, Red Sox. Oh, look who that's for. Nick again! Dude loves it here, man. Racking up the hits. Song was called right now. SR seventy one. Approximately see I left in ninety eight, ninety nine. Somewhere in the late nineties. Every time I sing, I can watch my viewers just, they just dissipate. That song does have a dope guitar riff. I'll give him that. Right now by SR71. I like it. Alan and Ginter. There's a Blue Jay Rocket. That's not Rocket. Oh man, they were, that's what I was just thinking, Rob. They were, there's this little kid, look at this kid, he loves umpires. That's kind of cool. He dresses up as umpires at the games. Oh man. The little back, the little black backpack people, stroke nine. They were. It was good for business, though, man. I was. They were making money hands over fist. The promoters back then, the radio record promoters, getting all that stuff played. The Cespedes family barbecue. Uh, that's just weird. Looks like cover a magazine or something. Creepy. My main man, Tukey. Now, how does Tukey still have a rookie card? How is that possible? It's 2019. I started this business in 2000 and five years ago. 2014. And I was trying to get Tukey rookies in 2014 and 15. How in the heck does he have a rookie card now? <laughs> Cool, Hillary Knight. 
Me likey. Man, what if that was James? It's Tyler Kepner. Baseball writer. Cool card for Eric. Eric just absolutely loves cards. He just loves. He's like so excited. He's probably sleeping now. But when he sees this, just loves getting cool stuff like this. Congrats, dude. Tyler Kepner, a baseball writer. Right now. If I check the back of these. Gotta check the backs. Someone will yell at me. Dude, you didn't check the backs. Shoot that poison arrow. Should I or should I not do a chatter's win? I want to know... If I should do a Chatter's Win sponsored by Scott Pets. Peanut butter, Captain Crunch. Holy crap, I can almost taste that, Rob. I can almost feel the Saturday morning with that. How was Chris's... Um, Cracking wax getting her tonight. Any monsters? I'm not down with doing multiple cases of this stuff. Oh, he's doing that Saturday, isn't he? Yo, Leb. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Have a good night. Saturday, okay. I think I'll go grab a team or something. Rob, Leb works at that, uh, that little cafe two doors down from here. He helps out that family with catering and logistics and stuff. Um, someone can type in chat that there was something monstery in Diamond Icons, but don't spoil it for him. If he can't hear me, don't spoil it for him, but tell him Diamond Icons was pretty good. But don't spoil it. All right, thanks, Tice. I mean, what do people do with these cards? Is there people out there that are like, I have to have all the horses set? I just... I'm a collector, there's no doubt. Just ask my wife. But the cards to collect them, I wish there was a better way to display them. They just end up in one of those white 5,000 count boxes.
Tyson, can you remind me what day we said we're bringing you in? I think we'll bring you in on a... Yeah, Tuesday, right? Maybe a Wednesday in the morning. What's the earliest you can get here? Probably by noon. That will be good. I figured Wednesday we could hang out here and get you all trained up. Or I could just put you on the air live and be like, have at it. You already know how to use the system. It's just right-click, cut and paste over to this Windows. Rodney Mullen. Wow, that's a name from the past. From the Yankee baseball. Oh, your baseball? It's probably still here. I told you there probably might be something that I missed. Wasn't it a Yankee Grammy or no? Yeah, I think it was Nettles. I think there's a couple other cards here too, Grammy, that surfaced post-shipping. How's this guy doing, everybody? My baseball watchers? I'll start tuning into baseball a lot in the next week or so. Usually post-All-Star break, I start paying more attention. There's just so much baseball to go around in the early season. Divisions change multiple times. Is this Jerickson? Man, I remember everybody trying to get this guy's Bowman card the first year. Hercules Club. <laughs> Anybody have hot dogs today? It's hot dog day. We did. We had hot dogs for dinner on the grill. Grammy, something tells me I bet if I walked out to that main floor right now, there would be a Greg Nettles ball. That's pretty cool. She's got a prosthetic hand throughout the pitch at all 30 ballparks. Grammy, you know this dude?
Oh, Tyson, dude. As conservative as you are. Yeah, yeah. Man. There's a Gliber. I just don't see you being the kind of guy that pokes fun at people, Tyson. That's not that's not very Tyson-y. Old creepy eyes, man. I'm telling you. Scott Pets. Have a good night. There he goes, everybody. He's going to miss the Chatter's win I was going to do. Now, we all know that when Scott Pett says he's going to bed or peace out, he's not. By the way, is it possible that I got heavier and fatter because I stopped drinking Pepsi? I swear I did. I swear I gained more weight and became fatter when I stopped drinking Pepsi. Is that possible? It might be because my metabolism is now s slowed down or something. Here's the makeup box. This is Elite. We're going to do this tonight. Remember like two weeks ago or so we did a break that did not have any hits in it? Well, this is the replacement from Panini.